What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to jump in with a breakdown of everything that we know about the Bungie 30th anniversary event for any of you guys who want a bit more info. We'll talk about when it launches, the new activity content, and the free versus paid stuff in the update. Additionally, we'll cover some of the returning weapons and all of the rewards that Bungie have revealed so far, since Bungie's showcase was pretty busy, and it's going to be cool to get a mid-season update in this extended season. So if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so I can keep you posted with Destiny. But now, let's get into it. Starting out, the Bungie 30th Anniversary event obviously is celebrating 30 years of Bungie, but it's also going to be a small content update that'll bring some new stuff to the game halfway through Season of the Lost. And so the December update and 30th Anniversary event will kick off on Tuesday the 7th of December, and it'll likely be at around the reset time. And once again, since this is an extended season, it's going to be nice to get some additional content. There will be both free and paid components of the event in terms of the free part, Bungie say that we'll get a new six-player activity with new mysteries plus rewards which celebrate Bungie's history. And the new activity is called Dares of Eternity, which will likely be similar to a seasonal activity. We can see the connection to the Nine here as well via the icon, but also that reference to Eternity. And there is a crucible map called Eternity in the Plains of the Nine. So with there also being a sort of portal in the background there, it seems entirely likely that the activity could take place in the Plains of the Nine like the Reckoning did. So that'll be interesting, but we don't get other specifics for the free portion of the event, other than Bungie suggesting that the Activator will have some themed rewards, as well as secrets to uncover. Naturally though, we do know a little bit more about the paid component of the event, and this is the 30th anniversary pack. It can be pre-ordered alongside Witch Queen, or as a standalone pack, which standalone I believe costs $25, so it isn't strictly cheap and this has been discussed a lot by players. Let me know what you guys think down below. For me, I guess it depends on how good the content is, because I'll play a lot of it anyway. And one of the biggest attractions of that paid portion of the content drop will be the new dungeon. Bungie have said that this will take place in the Cosmodrome Loot Cave, which is the same one that Bungie commemorated previously with a message from beyond. A million deaths are not enough for Master Raul. And the description reads, A new three-player dungeon is inspired by the famed Cosmodrome Loot Caves of yore. Earn the new Thorn armor set and watch your step as you hunt for lost relics. And based on the artwork that we can see, it would appear that Zerk could be linked to the dungeon, as he is standing in this kind of cave in the background. Of course, he is a member of the Nine, so that's going to factor into the six-player activity, or dungeon no doubt. But on Twitter, Bunja referred to it as a pirate-themed dungeon, and that could largely be a reference to the Fallen, so that's a possible enemy type. Unless, of course, they mean more literal pirates. But I suppose we're going to be the real pirates, since we'll be on the hunt for the next most main attraction of the event, the Galahorn. So the weapon is returning for Destiny 2 and is going to drop via the dungeon. Bungie did state that we'll need to complete a quest to unlock the classic rocket launcher as well, so possibly that quest will culminate in the dungeon or takes place entirely inside of it. But additionally, Galahorn will have a catalyst in Destiny 2 and they say it will imbue it with the power that made this icon stand the test of time. And since there are quite a few new players to Destiny 2 who perhaps didn't play Destiny 1, its main perk in the original game was Wolfpack rounds, and rounds fired from the weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. So it was all around a very fun weapon, and was incredibly strong in the first year of Destiny 1, and safe to say was the most sought after exotic in the game for quite some time. Looking at the gameplay from the trailer, it does appear to behave the way we expected to, and Joe Blackburn also suggested that the weapon will be updated for the Destiny 2 sandbox, but they very much want it to live up to the hype. And he references them reprising it in Rise of Iron, where it wasn't necessarily the best DPS weapon anymore, but it was easy and fun to use. So for me personally, I'm very much looking forward to the return of Galahorn, and it's going to be a lot of fun for folks who never played Destiny 1 who will finally experience the weapon. They also confirmed that it will get a new ornament for Destiny 2, and that'll be part of the 30th anniversary pack, so that'll be neat as well. But other dungeon rewards will include the IS Luna and Thousand Yard Stair from Destiny 1. Both of these were really popular and were some of the main weapons that we really spent time hunting for god rolls on in Destiny 1. Ias Luna is a baby Hawkmoon in spirit, I suppose, and it should essentially be like Ostringer, which was a reskin of Ias Luna, but I'd imagine they're going to give it some very good stats and potential rolls. The same can be said for the Thousand Yard Stare, which was another really popular weapon for PvP. Additionally, in terms of brand new weapons, they'll introduce a new sword, which is a Claymore inspired by Myth. And that's a Bungie title which first released in 1997, so super old school. And additionally, we'll see other new weapons inspired by past Bungie worlds. It's possible that we'll get more previews of these weapons as we get closer to the launch of the event. 
But finally for the dungeon, there will be the Thorn armor set, and this looks absolutely awesome. It kind of reminds me of a bunch of the best elements of Crota's End and King's Fall armor in Destiny 1, with some of that glow as well. And of course it's likely that these armor pieces, as well as various weapons, will be in counter drops throughout the dungeon. So let us know down below in the comments what you're most excited to pick up from the Cosmodrome dungeon. Finally though, let's mention some of the additional items from the pack. There are going to be exotic sparrows, and we can see a Galahorn themed sparrow which is pretty awesome. There'll also be an exotic ship which I don't believe has been previewed yet, as well as emblems, shaders, emotes, and more, and then a couple of armor ornament sets. So there will be the Bungie Streetwear ornament set, some pretty different looking stuff right there, and there'll also be a marathon themed ornament set as well. But Bungie also lists a unique helmet ornament being available, which again I don't believe has been previewed yet, so it'll be interesting to see what that is. On top of this there will be other Bungie collectibles that'll drop around that time on the Bungie store, a fallen captain statue, celestial nighthawk helmet, and an Arcadia class jump ship. So the Bungie store will factor in as always, and then a separate element, but we should be seeing the dawning event for 2021. That tends to kick off in mid-December sometimes, so it's possible that we'll get it a week or so after the launch of the 30th anniversary event. And for now, that is everything that we know about that next update that we're getting in December. I'll link the Bungie page down below where you can look at the pre-order options and information about all of the content. As always, I'll keep you up to date with everything related to the game and when we get new info about the 30th anniversary. So be sure to stay tuned right here on the channel. And also, if you guys want to save 15% on loot crate orders, including their Destiny themed crates, be sure to check out the link in the description and use code HOUNDISH15 at checkout. They've got some really cool stuff in their store, so be sure to use that discount. And for today, I very much appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll catch you all very soon. Starting this December, we are launching the Bungie 30th Anniversary Celebration in Destiny 2. Free for all players, the 30th Anniversary Celebration will offer a new six-player matchmade activity, secrets to unravel, and rewards that commemorate our long and storied history together. And that's just the beginning. In addition to the free event, players can also purchase the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack that includes a new treasure-themed three-player dungeon set on the Cosmodrome within the fabled Loot Cave. Players will plunder its depths to discover an exciting new Thorm-inspired armor set and fan-favorite Destiny 1 weapons like Isaluna and Thousand Yard Stare. It even has the Claymore Sword from Myth. Purchasing the pack unlocks a range of awesome Bungie-themed armor ornaments and cosmetics to collect, including ornament sets inspired by the Bungie 30th Anniversary Celebration and Marathon. But the dungeon holds one more secret. The crown jewel of its weaponry is a Destiny 1 classic. Galahorn is making its long-awaited debut in Destiny 2. We're going to take its iconic status to the next level. Galley has been carefully updated for the Destiny 2 sandbox. So this December, join your friends and collect exclusive rewards during the Bungie 30th Anniversary Celebration.